Let's take a look at Countertop CAD and creating countertops in Countertop CAD. We'll select the Tops button. Select an L-shaped top. We'll just type in the sizes we want. It's going to automatically draw and dimension that top for us. I'm going to take uh, the Splash tool now and we're going to add splashes to this. Uh, I'm going to just say Select. Choose the side I want until to draw the splash there. Now if I wanted to make the splash side smaller, that do it exactly the same size as the uh, back. I can just pull this over here. I'm working to reduce size screen. Say select. Pull this over. Let's say I want to trim that splash by one inch. I can just put the number I want to trim it in there. And now I drew a 59 inch splash versus a 60 inch side. Uh, now let's say I want to put a seam uh, in this top. I'm going to take the saw tool. Angle cut from side until it OK. I'm going to select the side. Let's say from corner one, I want to come four inches out and I want to draw it at 90 degrees. We'll just make that seam. That's actually two tops now. If I uh, come in with the toolbar, pull this down here so you can see it, and just take the, uh, the move tool. And we're just going to select that section. And I'm just going to want to move it just a little bit, just so you can see that that's two separate tops there. Uh, now, if I wanted to come in and put in a bump out for a sink, I'll take the side notch tool, select the side I want to add, enter in the dimensions I want to enter the bump in out to be, create the the bump. Now, let's say I want to put a sink in this uh, section of the top. I want to just I'll reopen my uh, tops bar and I'll select blocks. We'll go to any type of sink you want. Let's just take a regular sink and insert that. So there's the sink perfectly aligned with the front of the, the top. If I wanted to move that off say four inches, I can just simply nudge it back out of the way. We'll take the uh, dimension tools, add a few dimensions to this newly placed sink. If I want to know what it is to the side, let's say I also want to know that that's four inches to that front edge there. I can add those dimensions in. If I wanted to continue to shape the top, if I take the toolbars here and we'll take like the fillet tool, I'm going to select this corner, add a two inch fillet there, it'll redimension the top for me. Let's say I want to come over here, use the chamfer tool. Add the chamfer. Now, let's uh, if I need to show where like a polished edge is or a, a, a build up or something like that, I can go to edging. I'll just select polished edge and go from here to there. And then I'm going to also go from here all the way over to here. I don't have to click all those individual points. All I have to do is click the start and end. Now, if I want to mark this up uh, for the guys in the uh, shop or for the customer, I can come into uh, my stamps tool. Let's say text. And we're, first, we want to put approved by so we can have someone sign off on the job. We want to say there's polished edges, you know, here, maybe here. And then also, we want to rotate that text. We can rotate it here, move this over just a little bit, and insert it there. Um, any type of a text or markup you, you save that to the database. Uh, let's say I want to look at the area of the tops. I want to select the individual top. This will give me the area if I want to round it up to the next whole square foot. It, whole foot. I can just select that. Insert that onto the job. Let's say select this one. Insert that on. Uh, it will also keep track of your uh, cost. If I just say select here, 
this this will bring up all the cost involved. I can either print this as report or if I wanted to I could actually insert that right onto the top itself. So if we go select again and I select this top this time. Now the cost is updated for that top and then I can just go insert and put that cost right onto the drawing itself. Again, this is just meant to give you a good overview of some of the powerful tools that are available for you in CountopCAD. Uh, thank you very much for your time.